how to boost your sexual confidence. Sex is a confidence problem waiting to happen. Even if everything in the boudoir has worked out so far, most people are bound for difficulties at some point in their sexual experiences. Everybody is having some sort of confidence issues when it comes to sex says Petra Zebrov, relationship counselor and sex therapist. Instead of letting this inevitability discourage them, people should embrace the insecurities that may arise and perhaps even take some time to prepare for potential challenges. Here are a few ways people can boost their confidence in bed and ready themselves for hits to self-esteem that may come their way. Be present. Most people are guilty of getting too caught up in the wrong thoughts during sex. They are worried about how they look, the weird face their partner just made, or whether they are following their sex move sequence. Working on being in the moment is one of Zebroff's top tips for building confidence in bed. If a person can embrace the feelings, sights, and sensations of what's going on, those pleasures can crowd out anxieties over performance. In particular, the practice of mindfulness can help some people become more aware and focused on their bodily experiences during sex. Try edging. Edging is a masturbation technique where a man gets as close to climax as possible and then stops in order to delay orgasm. This practice can help him delay time to ejaculation, a common concern, and many men report it results in more intense orgasm, eventually. Edging can build a man's confidence about the control he has over his arousal and give him a deeper appreciation of the various enjoyable sensations of sex rather than obsessing over. Talk favorite positions. In movies, couples have awesome, incredible sex and they never need to say a word. That is not how it works in real life. A lot of people think that sex is magical and they should know instinctively what to do and that's just not true says Zebroff. Trying to guess what a partner wants can lead to an ill-informed, unremarkable romp a surefire way to kill confidence. The temporary awkwardness of talking about likes and dislikes in the bedroom is nothing compared to that of trying a new technique that your partner doesn't want done. Prepare for the worst. Sex is a common confidence suck because it can be unpredictable. There are too many factors in play for each sexual experience to go perfectly says Zebroff. A huge part of being sexually confident is being ready to react appropriately when things don't go as planned. Zebroff recommends taking some time to think up likely sex obstacles, not getting hard, spilling the lube, elbowing your partner in the face, and imagine how you'd coolly salvage the experience after each mishap. Laugh. Laughter is a powerful tool in life, and that's true in the bedroom too. Zebroff researched how relationship factors affect sexual desire and found that a person's ability to laugh in a sexual context was significantly related with high sexual desire in both men and women. Laughing with, not at, a partner about what goes sideways can cut tension, keep the focus positive, and make both people feel more connected. Exercise a recent study published in the Journal of Sexual Medicine found that higher amount of exercise was associated with better erectile and sexual functioning. Being a healthy weight and cardiovascularly fit is likely to improve your sexual performance. Feeling good about how you look and feel probably doesn't hurt either. Visualize success. Zebroff says this method for bolstering confidence is a favorite among men. For men who don't like the idea of preparing for the worst-case scenario, this see-it-and-achieve-it approach is an alternative. It involves imagining the perfect sexual encounter with everything going just right, then going into the actual session believing the success you envisioned is well within reach. Read up. There are countless ways to become sexually educated. Whether it's online, in a book, or from a professional.
men who want to be assured in their sexual abilities should learn about sex. Do you know the difference between the vagina and the labia? Do women actually ejaculate? Is lube really necessary for anal sex? Knowledge is power. Practice soft sex. For some men, there is nothing scarier than a soft penis during the act. Erections wax and wane naturally throughout intercourse and it doesn't mean there's anything wrong with the man or that he's not attracted enough to his partner. So long as it's not a consistent issue, it's nothing to fret over. Instead, find pleasurable ways to continue sex while soft. Many sexual activities don't require an erection. Take more risks. Lack of sexual confidence can result from lackluster sex because it's the same old stuff. Zebroff says that going outside a settled routine is a simple way people can instantly feel better about their sexual competences. This doesn't have to mean introducing the scariest sex toy you can find. Try a new position, have sex in a different room, start with a massage. Change does not have to be extreme to result in a major improvement. Therapy Some people go to sex therapy for one session to educate themselves about specific questions they have. Other people have more intricate issues, such as a partner that feels distant, ejaculation and erection challenges, or insecurities about sexual desires. If sexual difficulties are getting in the way of you enjoying your life, no matter what they are, consider seeking professional help. Thank you for watching our health benefit tips. If you like this video, please subscribe our channel for more natural health care tips videos. Thank you.